So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now in this video we're going to be here on Emerald Coast and we're going to be taking a look at the trophies I have gotten for the three brand new deer species that are here on Emerald Coast. And we're going to be starting off by taking a look at my Sambar deer trophies that I've gotten so far. And as you can see we're starting off with a very beautiful albino female Sambar. Now this was actually the first rare Sambar I came across and she is absolutely gorgeous. I spotted her out of the corner of my eye as I was moving from one lake to another to check for drink zones for hog deer and I just saw this white figure moving around and I was super excited to actually see that it was an albino sambar. Such a beautiful looking rare. They are absolutely stunning. Just like a little ghost wandering around out there. Just a beautiful looking animal. Now obviously I'd love to get a male at some point but these are so beautiful and I'm really happy to actually have a rare. I was really really excited to see my first rare for these guys. They are just beautiful. The models look so good and they're just absolutely fantastic and the rares look incredible. And talking about incredible looking rares, I actually came across another type of rare sambar. Now, I wasn't actually sure if this was a rare looking at it through the night vision, but it looked way paler to me than even the light browns do when looking at them through the night vision. So I managed to actually finally get her attention and just seeing her there actually not in the night vision. I was pretty confident about what I had in front of me. I was pretty confident that it was a leucistic and actually taking a closer look at it, I knew it was definitely a leucistic and she is absolutely stunning. Look at those blue eyes. That is just gorgeous. I mean, wow. What an incredibly stunning animal. They are so beautiful and like I said the models are so fantastic and then you get the rare variants on top of the fantastic models and they just look incredible. That is a seriously beautiful animal. Again I would really love to get a male for my ultimate trophy lodge because that's definitely something that I'd put into my ultimate trophy lodge if I could get a stag because these look just incredible absolutely beautiful just so so stunning like i can't get over how good these actually look they are really beautiful and from what i've seen sambar seem to have like a couple of leucistic variants i've seen a couple that have looked different when i've seen pictures of them so i'm really excited to potentially you know try and get a couple of different variants for these because yeah this one just is so so pretty I mean, just stunning looking animal. The blue eyes just sell it for me. I love seeing the different eye colours on rares, so that was really, really exciting for me. I just think it's such a nice sort of added extra detail, so I always love seeing that on things like leucistics. It's so, so cool to me. But moving on to take a look at not a rare, but a very large looking sambar. Now, he is really big looking to me, and when I first saw him, I was really hoping that this guy would actually be a diamond. If you saw any of my early access videos, you'll know that unfortunately I got trolled by all three of the deer species on this map and never managed to get a diamond for them in early access. So I was crossing my fingers that this guy might make it. I had already been trolled once by a level 5 at this exact same lake in a different server in multiplayer in the live game. So I was super stoked when I picked this guy up and found that he was not only a diamond but a pretty big one not far off max weight at 298.17 kg and he's a 173 scoring stag when 166.43 is diamond so he's quite a bit over that is a really good sized diamond and he's the light brown fur type which i think is really pretty i actually end up have ended up liking all of the the common fur types for these guys but the light brown i think is really pretty it kind of does remind me of the leucistics a little bit and i really like that and as you can see, moving on to the next clip, we have yet another level 5 sambar. And I was actually looking for rares, trying to see if I could find some rare males for the, for the lodge. And I ended up finding this actually drinking at night. And this guy also makes diamond, a 169.93 and he is a dark brown so a different fur type but a, still a really beautiful and very decent scoring diamond sambar i mean he's really gorgeous 
not quite as big as the other one but it's so cool to get a different fur type diamond as well because like i said i've ended up liking all of the common furs for these guys they all just look so good and then I ended up finding this, yet another level 5 sandbar. And yet again, I thought this one looked pretty good. He looked pretty big to me. And I was just looking at the length of the times and everything. And everything made me think that this guy would probably also make diamond. And he does. And he's also quite a big one at 171.58. Again, the dark brown fur types are the same as the previous one that we just looked at. But still, again, a really nice size diamond sandbar. And I'm more than happy to be getting plenty of diamonds for these guys because I think they look really, really fantastic. Their antlers are actually really cool. And when I first saw some of the level 4s, I was worried about how big the 5s would get. So I'm really excited and pleased that the level 5s actually do get quite big. And then we have this little scene that I ended up stumbling across in multiplayer. A level 5 and an albino female in the same herd drinking at this little lake. It's one of my favourite little hotspots. It's also a really good lake for hog deer. It's just on the edge of the dry bone plateau. And for some reason it seems like sometimes there's quite a few sandbar here in some of the different servers I've been in. And this time there just so happened to be a diamond scoring brown fur type level 5 sandbar and also that albino female now this guy wasn't huge only 167.88 but that is still a decent bit over that diamond requirement and he is a different fur type again so really really cool i then ended up tracking the female albino down i couldn't unfortunately get a shot off quick enough to actually drop her while she was at the drink zone after i dropped the male and I really didn't take the, the best shots here. I was just trying to get her down. You know, it's a female. There's no score to be ruined anyway. So I wasn't too worried about that. But we have another really beautiful albino. And you can see my shots really weren't very good. I tried to lead that first one. But I'm not always, not always the best at leading shots. I try to be better at it. But especially with the 308, I find that I'm not always the best at leading shots. I don't know particularly why with that rifle. But I just don't seem to be great at it. But we have a very beautiful rare. Now moving on to the next species of deer on this map and we're taking a look at the Rusa deer. And the very first trophy Rusa that I ended up encountering was one that I would was really really hoping to see after we had been shown these on the stream by EW. Now we saw that there were a couple of piebald variants for the Rusa but this in particular was my favourite of the piebalds that we were shown. And this was the first trophy for these guys that I actually ended up coming across. And he is a beautiful, beautiful specimen. I mean, he's got some really nice antlers on him as well. But just how cool does that piebald variant actually look? It is so beautiful. Hit tax so quickly on that. And he's a gold being a decent size level four. So I was super, super happy with that. What an absolutely stunning animal. I really love the, the like white face and neck. I think it looks so cool. I really, really like this particular variant of the piebalds for these guys. They are really, really pretty. And yeah, he was just resting in this field edge as I was running to check a drink zone again, I think for hog deer. And I just spotted him as he was led there. And I just couldn't actually believe that I spotted this piebald just resting there, like I said, in the edge of this field. It was really, really cool. Such a beautiful animal. I was so, so stoked to end up getting one of these. Really, really cool. They're just gorgeous. This was the one rare I really wanted to find for these guys and I ended up finding it as my first trophy for them. So I got super, super lucky with that. And yeah, they just look fantastic. The white contrasting with the different brown shades. I think it looks so beautiful. Really, really well done. And not only did I end up finding that guy... But as I continued to hunt for Rusa, I ended up finding the other piebald variant. Now, it's a much smaller male, but it is still a male and it is still a rare. And like I said, it's the other variant. So that's really cool. These are the two variants that we got to see shown off on stream by Jaxie Beard in that EW stream. And now I finally get to see them in game for myself. Now, this one was at night. I did actually see him in a drink zone, but either I spooked him or the Crocs spooked him. But either way, managed to track him down and actually get to take him. 
And yeah, it was really, really cool. He is so pretty. This is a very different pattern. This one's almost more, I don't know how to say it, more subtle in certain areas and a bit more patchy. And the way that it actually blends in with the fur is different, but it looks really, really good. And then I ended up actually finding this. Actually, I found this in the same session just before I shot that second piebald. But I wanted to have this at the end of the Rusa clips because, yeah, this is a huge level 5 Rusa. And I had been trolled again by one in the live game by a lot. It was a tiny level 5. And then I find this in a drink zone. Uh, like I said, in the same server where I just shot that second piebald. But this was actually before that piebald. But just look at the size of him. He's massive. And you can see diamond requirement is 148.78. And he scores 157.32. He is absolutely giant. And as soon as I saw him, even through the night vision, I just saw the thickness of his antlers, the sheer mass, and I knew he had to be a diamond. I was like, finally, this should be my diamond rooster. And sure enough, he was. He is a beautiful fur type. He has the two tones, which looks so good. I love the darker fur mixing in with the lighter brown shades. Looks absolutely fantastic. And he's just huge. And not only is he huge, he's got some character to him. He's a little bit uneven. One antler is like longer than the other. It's not so uneven that it looks weird. Like sometimes you'll see with things like red deer where they have two completely different antlers. But it's uneven in a way that makes sense. Just one antler is slightly bigger than the other. But it looks just fantastic. I mean, that is an incredible looking diamond. I certainly need some more of these for the trophy lodge. Because wow. That is so impressive. Really, really love how the big level fives for these guys look. Now, finally, moving on to the last of the brand new deer species and taking a look at the trophies that I have gotten so far for the hog deer. And we're starting off with a stunning looking piebald female hog deer. She is incredibly beautiful. This has to be one of my favourite piebalds in the entire game. That is such an incredibly beautiful pattern. And I had seen a couple of pictures of this particular pattern and I really wanted to shoot one for myself. Now, as far as I know, you can only get this particular pattern on the females. I haven't seen this pattern on any males. So I do believe this is just how the piebald females look and I haven't seen any other variants for the females as piebalds, but this just looks incredible. I mean, wow. This is an incredible piebald. I mean, it looks so pretty so so pretty what a stunning looking female she is just gorgeous i absolutely love this and i really wish that there was a hog deer multi mount because i'd love to have this this beautiful piebald because i love this like i said i think this is my one of my favorite piebalds in the entire game like with a, a nice diamond or a nice rare male because yeah i'd love to have this like on display in a multi mount or something it looks so gorgeous and not only did I end up finding one piebald female, I ended up finding a second. And like I said, I, I think this is the only piebald variant for the females, as this is the only one I have seen so far. I could be wrong, but it's the only one that I have seen. And it seems to be female exclusive. I haven't seen this pattern on a male on any of the ones I've seen posted, which is a really big shame because I think a male with this pattern would be really, really incredible too. But it's just so, it's just so gorgeous. Like, I love it. I love how it looks. The way that the different brown tones from light brown to the dark brown around the shoulder there mixes and contrasts with the white and how clean it is. I just think it looks amazing. But moving from one rare to the next, and we have what was my first leucistic hog deer. Now, I'd actually seen one of these in early access when I did the collaboration stream with Flinter and KC. Flinter ended up finding one on his map, and I was taken by how gorgeous they were. And so when I finally got to see one for myself that I could actually shoot in, in the live game, I was super, super stoked. These are so gorgeous. I said it on that stream, it's like a little ghost, and they really are. Just absolutely stunning. Very unique looking leucistic. But I think that they are really, really pretty. And I've said that a lot about all of the different rares in this video. But I really do think they are absolutely gorgeous. 
and not not only did I find that first leucistic female, but I actually ended up finding a second leucistic female too. Again, at this same lake, but this was actually in my single player, I believe. Like one was in single player and one was in multiplayer. And I came here to check this spot and there was a leucistic on my own map. Very good little spot for hog deer. And you probably have seen it on all of the hotspot maps. It's just a, a little lake off of one of the, the rivers. And yeah, hog deer seem to congregate here and I have gotten lucky with a couple of really beautiful trophy rare females from this spot. They are so, so gorgeous. Like, the subtle brown in the neck and everything, it looks really, really gorgeous. But moving from taking a look at some rare females to a rare male, and we have a piebald male hog deer. Now, I spotted this guy, and initially I wasn't sure if I was seeing it right or if it was just the lighting on a different looking common, like a spotted or something, because I could just see something that didn't just, it didn't look quite common to me. And the lighting was kind of difficult and he was behind some brush at the time when I first spotted him resting up on this little bit of a hill. And so I moved around and got into position and he stood up and I could finally see that he was actually a piebald. And I was really excited when I saw that he definitely was what I was thinking. Because, yeah, these guys are really cool. I really like the hog deer. I think they're going to be a bit more of an underrated species because they don't grow the biggest antlers and they're not the biggest of the deer. But I think that they are really, really cool and I'm so pleased we have them in the game. And I was so stoked to get a beautiful piebald male. And it was that white neck that that was the thing that I spotted. And I was like, I don't think there's any common variants that have a white neck like that. The only one I could think of was like the dark spotted or something like that. I think it's dark spotted, it could be just spotted, that has a bit more of a paler neck. And I was like, it just doesn't look right. I'm, I'm sure that has to be some kind of rare. And then, like I said, then he stood up and I could see very clearly the piebald pattern on him. Just so beautiful. A very different looking piebald to the other piebalds that we've looked at in this video. And it's really cool to see all of the piebald animals having these different variants from species to species. Really, really cool to see. And I'm sure there's probably more than one piebald variant for hog deer. So maybe, maybe we could end up finding that in the future, which could be cool. Hopefully there is more than one piebald. And I would certainly love to find it if there is. And then moving on to my favourite rare male that I've ended up taking for the hog deer so far, we have a leucistic male. Now this again was actually hanging out on my own map and I finally got around to actually hunting my own map a bit and I found this guy as I was going through actually looking for a diamond hog deer and I found this. So I had the couple of leucistic females and then I got really lucky to find a decent sized leucistic male. And like, like I said, they just look like ghosts. I don't know how else to say it. The way that they're patterned and the way that the different colours and shades mix in with each other, it does just look like a ghost to me. Even more so than something like the albino soundbar that we've seen earlier in the video. I really think these have a very ghostly look to them and I love that. I think it's really, really cool. All the different shades that's in that coat. It's really fantastic to see how much detail there actually is. They are absolutely stunning. And I'm, I haven't actually seen an albino hog deer posted, but I'd love to find one if they do exist, which I'm assuming they do, and like compare between a leucistic and an albino. Because the leucistic at the moment is my favourite rare for them, I think, because they just look so unique. And, you know, that would be such a cool super rare to encounter. A leucistic diamond hog deer, I think, would be definitely a really cool one. So, yeah, just a really incredible looking rare. And finally, for the last clip of this video, we have a very large level 5 hog deer. Now, I spent quite a while trying to get a diamond hog deer. And I ended up getting trolled a couple of times by males that just weren't, they weren't big enough. Just, they were getting really close, but just not quite big enough to actually make diamonds. And then I found this guy. And he had a very promising estimate, and I was looking at his antlers, and he looked way bigger to me than any of the other level 5s I'd actually shot. He looked to have more mass, he looked to be a really, really big level 5. So I was crossing my fingers that this guy would actually be the first hog deer that would make diamond for me, and he actually did. At 110.06 almost max weight at 49.18 kgs he ends up making diamond 
that is just incredible i am so pleased that you know i got trolled by the deer species really hard in in the early access like i said i got trolled by all of them all of the new deer species ended up trolling me and then i had trolls of everything in in uh, the live game before i ended up getting diamonds i had like i said i had a troll troll sambar a troll rooster and a couple of troll hog deer before i ended up getting the diamonds and then finally managed to get diamonds for each of them and i was so so pleased the deer species on this map are incredible i love the new deer species i think they are just really fantastic everything about them their models their rares the diamonds i think they're just really really fantastic and i'm so excited that i have diamonds of all of them to put into my trophy lodge because yeah they are really really awesome just absolutely stunning looking i mean that is an incredible looking deer absolutely fantastic so so pleased that one actually finally made it and it was really cool to actually like i said finally get some diamonds of these incredible new species for the trophy lodge and i said that in early access that you know okay i get trolled in early access i wouldn't have been able to keep them anyway and i was hoping i'd have better luck when it actually came to the live game and that has certainly been true and thankfully i get to keep all of these incredible trophies that i have been able to share with you in this video the rares which are just absolutely stunning i love them all and i really hope we get some multi mounts where we can use some of these female rares for the samba deer you know for rooster deer for the hog deer just hopefully some multi mounts where we can have males and females i think would be really fantastic in the future and yeah just some really really stunning individual animals for for the rares for these animals i think they just look fantastic but that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. I'm so sorry that there has been such a delay with me putting out Emerald Coast content. Things have been hectic, as you will probably will have seen if you've seen any of what's been going on on the channel recently. Things just kept happening one after the other. And it, I've been waiting and waiting to actually record some Emerald Coast videos. And I've still got several more to come. And I'm really, really excited to actually share this one with you all. And yeah, I'm really, really stoked about all of the trophies I've managed to get so far. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support. As always, you are all amazing. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.